So this is Atok on my screen here. In my last video, I showed you how to withdraw Atok from your Atok app into your wallet. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can swap this your Atok to USDT and withdraw. And I'm going to be showing you three different methods to do the swapping and the best method to pick. Then at the end of this video, I'll be exposing some things to you that I discovered on Atok because I recently did an audit of their smart contract and found some things which I'm going to be disclosing to you. And it's very important you know this before you continue participating in ATOC. So this is ATOC token here. You can see this balance here is displaying $0.57. That is to say that my 900 ATOC is equal to this balance. But on the official page, on the official swap page of ATOC, one ATOC is currently equal to something around, I think 0 0.04, 0 0.03 there about. But if you do the conversion, it simply means that my 900 ATOC is going to be giving me something around 12 USDT. That is $12. But then we'll come to that. Now, the first method for you to do your swapping is simple. Just tap on ATOC as your screen on my screen here. It works for whether MetaMask or whether you're using Trust Wallet or OKX Wallet. Any wallet you're using, they should have a swap page here. As for me, I'm using MetaMask. MetaMask is somehow, somehow my favorite, even though sometimes they do misbehave. Now, you come over to this swap section here. Look at this swap section and you click on it. So you can see ATOC against USDT. So I'll wait a little bit for, all right, let, let, let me select ATOC. Then I'll wait for the ATOC to reflect on the swap page. And in case it's not displaying, I'll also show you how to copy the contract address of ATOC. Because in one of the swap, you need the contract address. So what I'm going to do now is to type in 900. And let us see. Okay, it's giving me about $0.57. Now, wait for this page to load completely. And then you can see the trade route isn't available right now try changing the amount on network or blah 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 so that is to say that i cannot trade yet or let's let's switch it to something lesser like let me say 500 all right 500 is giving me something 0.31 cents let's see if this will still go through if it does not okay it does not go through so let me now head to the official site where i show you and i'm going to tell you why that didn't go through in that video so head over to this browser session that is the d app session of your metamask and then you need the official link i'm going to drop the official link on my telegram channel so if you need that link you check the description box for you watching from youtube you check the description box of this video the link is going to be there where you simply copy it or this is even on my screen so you simply copy it and go and beware of fake links because a lot of scammers are going to be distributing fake links that once you connect to your wallet it's going to drain your wallet so beware now this is the official etoc um swap page here this is where you get to see the original balance and where you get to do the swap now if i scroll down you can see this is the balance here 0 0.014 cents yeah that should be if i should you know time this with my 900 it's talk that will give me something around 12 dollars so what we want to do next is to tap on this connect wallet here and then i'm gonna select metamask and wait for the wallet to be connected successfully so my balance can reflect i'm gonna go ahead and confirm this and it's connected successfully so what i want to do now is to you know scroll up and then locate this is the swap section now on this swap section you can see my available balance is 900 so i want to tap on this arrow button here so i'm going to switch it up to the top since i'm switching from it to usdt so i tap on it here and let me see what other tokens okay i wanted to check other tokens that i could swap over apparently it's only usdt so here is it i'm going to select max once i select max you can see 12 usdt that is what is the approximate value of this 900 top but when i scroll up to the swap you can see insufficient pool insufficient pool that is to say that this also cannot go through here let's still reduce the balance let me reduce the balance to something let's say 600 600 should give me 8.4 dollar so it's still telling me insufficient pool so i'm gonna tell you why that is so but before we go through that let's still show you the third method if that would be possible and for the third method i'll be going to pancake swap yes the reason why i'm using pancake swap is because pancake swap is on bnb blockchain bnb network and ETOC is getting listed on BNB network. So you need BNB for gas fee. But then that simply means that regardless of whether ETOC has their own swap platform or not, 
automatically you should be able to swap eTalk on this pancake swap but you will need the contract address of eTalk so here's what we're gonna do um what we're gonna do first is similar to what we did in the second method just tap on this connect button here so i can connect my metamask that is the first thing before we can do any swap so i want to tap on this here this is my previously used so i'm gonna tap on it there is also an important information I want to show you on this page. So pay clear attention. Why is it showing me error? Let's try again. All right, you can see my wallet was connected successfully. That was why it was displaying error. So if I tap here, you can see my wallet is already connected. So what I want to do now is, um, let, let me select here this first BNB to see if a talk is going to display there. If it does not display then, we will need the contract address so you can see a talk is not here now for you to get this contract address you you can you know i've even dropped it on my telegram channel let me go and copy it from my telegram channel and show you how to do the importation so if you need this link i also drop it in the description box of this video the link to this telegram where you can copy it so once i come on my telegram channel i want to use this search bar here i'm gonna search for a talk let's search for a talk and all right stop the search bar now i can see this is the last video i made on a talk on how to withdraw if i scroll down this is a post i made a talk contract address and you can see this is the contract address so the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and copy this contract address and then head back into my metamask to continue the transaction so i have copied it back on this page what i want to do is look at this cake this cake below here which is the you know talking of this platform this decentralized exchange so i want to let me switch it to usdt so okay yeah it's now on usdt bnb i didn't even know how i tapped that but then that is basically that on usdt then this bnb here you tap on it this is where i'm going to select our a talk so as i tap on it now this search bar here i want to paste in the contract address that i just copied from my telegram channel so you can see what I'll do next is to go ahead and paste it in RAM. All right, so you wait a little bit for it to load. And as you can see, it talk, this is it here. The next thing I want to do is to import. And note, my wallet is already connected. So once I, um, I need to do the importation, why is it telling me low risk, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to view this now, but then should, okay that is basically that um let's try it again i don't know why it's displaying that i should be able to import it so let me try it again i i this i don't know why this is behaving like this but metamask does misbehave sometimes but let me tell you what will happen even if i try to swap it on this pancake swap it will still not go through that boils down to one thing a talk has not yet provided liquidity and that is we could understand a talk is not yet listed so it's understandable that yes you should not be able to swap but i think they do inject some temporary liquidity sometimes so maybe some users will be able to swap that is even maybe the purpose of that their website so maybe when they inject ut utility or sorry liquidity you should be able to swap so i'll advise keep checking in on their platform now what we are going to do now is to head on look at this view on bsc scan once tap on this view on bsc scan it's going to take us to this a talk token on the bsc page where i'm going to show you i did a little audit on the smart contract not an official audit though so you could also go through it by yourself and do your you know decision or decide now from what i found a talk is not fully decentralized it is not fully decentralized because it is a potential honeypot now in crypto when they say a coin is honeypot Honeypot simply means, for instance, that their swap page, if you notice, you could only swap it up to USDT. I tried to swap it up to USDT. It did not work because of low liquidity, right? But if I try to swap USDT to a talk, it is going to go through. Yes, it is going to go through. Now, when they say a coin is a potential honeypot, it simply means you can use USDT or any other coin to purchase that coin, but you will not be able to sell back the coin. That is one thing. I found that out on their contract address. Look at this token contract address here. Some some platforms that have gone through it have also confirmed the same things. So it is a potential honeypot. And then secondly, it is not fully decentralized in the sense that this smart contract 
from the audit I did, if you want, uh, if you want the document, I also drop it on my Telegram channel. I'm going to drop the link in the description box of this video. So from the audit I did, the code. Let me see where is that code again. So when I was checking through it, I saw that they gave themselves permissions. Like Etop could, they could, you know, um, they still have access to either lock or unlock your wallet. So you could buy thousands of dollars of Etop right now, and they might decide that oh. We don't want this person to be able to sell and then they lock your wallet you won't be able to sell it is not supposed to be so so let me search for the contract address again so it is not supposed to be so which means you could buy the token and then they decide to lock it this is it here okay you could buy the token and then they decide to lock you not allowing you to sell the coins that you have purchased that is one thing so i have finally located the contract you can see this is the contract for those of you that are smart contract auditors if you want to go through it you can go through this so these are the smart contracts and currently there has been no official audit yes no official audit of their smart contract so with all of that it points down to that this is a centralized platform yes it is on the blockchain but still centralized because the developers have access they have control they could decide to freeze your transfer you could have tokens on your wallet and decide to freeze it you can't send one thing again that i notice is the holders if i go to this holder section if you go to holders now you can see now it makes sense that one wallet if you notice this is 46 percent this is 46 percent this is 30 percent this is 10 10 the other people are look at this person is holding one percent and then they like zero 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 these are probably you and i now this wallet which is holding 46 almost half of the supply you can see this wallet has no description no description of whatsoever this could probably mean the dev wallet why should one wallet be holding this without the description now for in the case of this one this one here this one here and this one we could understand because if i tap on this little button here you can see it's, it's contract this contract simply means you know this wallets are holding it probably for because the token is not listed yet so they do the distribution to wallets gradually and blah 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 that's why you can see it here but what of this wallet that is holding the largest amount so if they distribute these tokens now to the airdroppers this wallet at least if the token is locked they should you know they should identify it so that we can know that this token is locked if not for this wallet to be holding this amount of supply they could rock the community at any time also this other wallet look at this wallet here this wallet that is holding 10 percent look at this one also does not have a label so a lot of i could just say i when i noticed this i had to i made a list a pdf list and i had to send it to them on their dm and i also made a post on it on my x channel so in case for those of you that don't know go and follow me on x that's for 20 second x follow me here to stay in touch for updates so i made a post on it a tweet on it and i also messaged them via dm they have not responded though but we see as it goes so if you're participating on a talk participate with caution and this goes especially to those of you that want to buy on their decks you could buy and you might not be able to sell back your tokens they could decide to freeze your wallet at any time because yes they have had that, that authority and this type of blockchain should not have that but then that is basically that um follow me on this channel here join my telegram channel to stay in touch for updates